Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to How Tuesday at Lori's Country Cottage. Today, you're going to learn how to figure out how much fabric you need to put borders on your quilt. When you work in a quilt shop, one of the most common things you do is simple math for customers who come in. Many of our customers don't know how to figure out how much fabric they need for borders, binding, batting, and backing. And that causes frustration for them. Today is the first in a series of videos that I am doing to teach you how to figure out how much fabric you need for the borders of your quilt, the binding, the batting, and the backing. Although most patterns come with fabric requirements for all of those, as quilters, we often like to personalize our projects. We'll take a quilt and add a row or a column to make it bigger, or add another border so that it fits on a specific bed. One of the most common things quilt shop workers are asked to do is to take a panel, add a bunch of borders, and make it into a quilt. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. I've made a simple calculation sheet that you can print off, and I'll do a couple of examples to show you how it works. There are a few things you need to know before you start. You need to measure your quilt. You need to know the length and the width of your quilt, and you also know, need to know the width of the border that you want to add. The formula I'm going to show you works for borders up to about four and a half inches wide. If you're going to put on a larger border, there's just one little step you have to add to the calculations to figure it out. Generally, we join our strips together on the diagonal for our borders. It just makes them less visible. When we do that joining on the diagonal with strips that are four inches or smaller, we use a little bit of fabric, but because we round up and add a strip to our calculations, we usually don't run into a problem. If, however, you are putting an extra wide border, let's say five inches or anything larger on your quilt, we do need to make a small adjustment, but I'll show you how. Let's zoom in and I'll explain it a bit further. Here are my two border strips. This is a six inch border and I have them joined on the diagonal. You can see that you can almost not see my diagonal seam. If, however, I had joined it with a straight seam, you can see how that's much more visible. So here are my two six inch strips joined on the diagonal. This is strip one. It's, we'll call it 40 inches long, and so is strip two. When I join them on the diagonal and then press, you can see that strip one maintains its full 40 inches, but strip two has lost six inches of its strip. So strip two is only 34 inches long instead of 40. When I join a strip to the other end of strip one, it's only going to be 34 inches as well. So when we do our calculations, we'll take that into account. Let's put some borders on our quilt. I always draw a picture when I'm putting on multiple borders. It just helps me to keep track of the numbers. So here's our project. We're going to start with the center quilt of 62 by 74. And the first border we're going to add is cut two and a half inches, finished at two inches. Let me show you how it's done. We need to make three calculations using these five variables. And we'll work them out as we go. So my quilt measures 62 by 74. To figure out A, which is the perimeter or the distance around my quilt, I need 74 plus 62 plus 74 
plus 62. I never do math in my head. 74 plus 62 plus 74 plus 62 is 272 inches around my quilt. 272. A is 272. Now I need to do the first calculation. A divided by 40 equals B. Why 40? Well, fabric is generally considered 45 inches wide. Minus your salvages, it's about 44 inches wide. Nowadays, fabric is even coming in narrower than that, especially the softer and smaller bolts of flannel. So we use 40, it allows us some extra fabric for when we join on the diagonal. So 272 divided by 40 tells us how many strips we need for this border. We need 6.8. Well, you can't buy 6.8 strips. We're gonna round up to seven and add one is eight. Why do I add one? Well, if my ruler slips, I have one extra strip and some extra fabric to play with. B equals eight. Here's our next calculation. The number of strips we have, which is eight, times C, which is the cut width of our border strip. This is our narrow little border, so it's two and a half inches. So eight times two and a half inches tells me how many inches I need. D is the number of inches I need. I need 20 inches. Well, I can cut you 20 inches, but I need to know what that is in meters. Your number of inches divided by 39 gives you how many meters you need. So 20 inches divided by 39 is 0.51 meters. We need to round up to the next tenth. You need 0.6 meters for this border. All right, we've added a two inch border to our inside, two inches on each side. Now my quilt measures 62 plus two plus two. That's 66 inches. And the length also grew by four inches. It's now 78 inches. And the next border I want to add is cut at three and a half. So a three inch border. This blue border is a three inch border. Here's our next calculation. My quilt measures 66 by 78. The perimeter around my quilt is 78 plus 66 plus 78 plus 66. Let's pull out the calculator. 78 plus 66 plus 78 plus 66 is 288 inches. 288 inches divided by 40 tells me how many strips. 7.2, round up makes it eight, add one, I need nine strips. Nine strips times the cut width of my border, which is three and a half inches. Nine times three and a half is 31 and a half inches. To figure out what I need in meters, 31 and a half, divided by 39 inches is 0.807 meters. I'm going to round up to 0.9. Gives me some wiggle room. I need 0.9 meters for my second border. Well, we've just added three inches on each side of our quilt. That's six more inches. How big is our quilt now? It's 72 by 84. Let's figure out that last border. This is an extra wide border, so we're gonna change the math just a little. We have a six and a half inch cut for our big outside border. Let's do the math. 
My quilt measures now 72 by 84. Let's figure out the perimeter of my quilt. 84 plus 72 plus 84 plus 72. Three hundred and twelve inches. Three hundred and twelve inches divided by forty. Oh, we have a new calculation. If my border is three point five inches or wider, I need to change the formula for step one to be a divided by forty minus the width of my border. So forty minus <clears throat> my 6.5, 40 minus 6.5 <clears throat> is 33 and a half inches. I only have 33 and a half inch usable on each strip. So A divided by 33.5 will give me my B. 312 divided by 33.5 tells me how many strips I need. 9.3. Round up is 10 and add one. I need 11 strips. 11 strips times my cut, which is 6.5 inches. 11 times 6.5 is 71 and a half inches. I need 71 and a half inches. How many meters do I need? 71 and a half divided by 39 is 1.83 meters. Round it up, I need 1.9 meters. I need 1.9 meters for the large outside border of my quilt. I've now added 12 inches to my quilt. So I'm at 84 by 96. This is the size of my quilt right now. In the next video, I'll show you how to figure out how much binding you need. Thank you for joining me for How Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do simple math for quilters, how to figure out how much fabric you need for borders. I hope you'll download the free worksheet and try it yourself. And join me for the second video in this series where I will show you how to do simple math to figure out how much binding you need for your quilt.